All right, here's a good one. Uh, again, apologize for doing my blogs while I'm driving, but it's about the only time I have right now. We're very busy trying to go from one place to the next. That's not relevant here. Someone asked me, uh, Rod, is it? Do you think elders should be women? <laughs> we always get this question. You know, women in church. Uh, and usually the question comes like this, should woman be subjugated by man? <laughs> or should they be free to minister like God wants them to? <laughs> usually it's it's asked with a flare of feminism in the, in the voice of it. Well, the Bible talks very specifically about the role of men and the role of women. Paul is very specific about it. You can't get around it. Look, uh, God has an authority structure in, based in roles, not based on inheritance. Uh, I want to be first and foremost in saying that the daughters of God have the same inheritance as the sons of God. That's important. That all are created equal, men and women. It's not about equality, it's about roles. And the roles are very simply, specifically defined. God specifically in his word does mention that when he talks to Timothy and when he talks to Titus, that it should be a man, speaking of elders, and I'll tell you in a minute, the three levels of leadership, should be a man um, with one wife, in other words, not a polygamist, and it should also be, and then there's conditions there. He should rule his own household well, which if you want to find out what that means, go over to Ephesians 5 and it'll tell you. And uh, he goes on to speak about uh, the role of women in church. He says, I don't, I don't uh, it's not wise to have a man in authority or a woman in authority over a man. God is trying to say something through the roles. It, it has nothing to do with discrimination. Uh, God is not trying to subjugate women. Um, quite to the contrary. However, let me talk briefly and for 90 seconds or less about the three roles of leadership. There are three levels of leadership in the church. First of all, in the Greek there's deaconess, in the New Testament specifically. Those are deacons. And there are women deacons. Deaconess. They are responsible for the administration of God's grace and finances in the church to feed the widows and to help in those areas. And then there is another term used for elder that defines the role of a spiritual leader, meaning someone who has experience with the word and who is able to teach and who actually has uh, an ability to lead in terms of the spiritual temperature and leading people to Christ and the spiritual temperature of and the Word of God in the church. Then there is a third level of leadership, and it is presbyteros. Now it's translated bishop in the King James and New King James Version. It presbyteros means to preside. And that term reflects a commitment of what I call a pastor to devote himself to the Word and bring the Word of God to the people. There are women pastors now. Now, the Bible doesn't suggest that women pastors should be in place. But what the Bible does suggest through the story of Deborah in uh, Judges is that some men are wusses and wimps. And they have, God's called them, but they refuse to take the call, so God brings a woman in. So anytime you see a woman pastor, I usually say, well, some man somewhere didn't fulfill his calling, and here, God, here we go again. A woman is faithful, a man isn't. And it's frustrating to me, because where are the men? Gentlemen, where are you? Uh, God has called men to lead, and not to subjugate, but to fulfill their role as spiritual leader. And I personally would like to see a few more men. So I believe in our church what we do is we don't we encourage strong leadership in men, which is Ephesians 5, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Women have a very real, real role and a careful and needful role in the church for sure. They hear from God. There are prophetesses. There are deaconesses. But in the terms of the structure of the church, uh, the Bible is very clear on that, I believe. And so that's my opinion, that's my blog, and now I have to make a, a right-hand turn here, so I'm going to shut this off. And you can you can yell and scream at me, especially those, the feminists are going to hate me now, they're going to, you know, call me everything in the book. So go for it on my blog site here.